Are you allowing your negative thoughts to overpower you? Watch today's video for three signs that negative thoughts might be defeating you. Hey there, my name is Diana Garcia. I'm a licensed therapist in Florida and owner of a private practice called Nurturing Minds Counseling. Hit that subscribe button now to get more tips to improve your mental health and deal with negative thoughts. All right, let's jump into this week's video. So let's just start off a little bit with just some basics on negative thoughts, right? Here I'm talking about negative thoughts that you might have about yourself. So self-talk like judging yourself, judging your mistakes, your worth, your appearance, something about yourself and finding yourself lacking. Uh, there could be thoughts about others, right? So judging others, finding them lacking, or just negative thoughts about the world, right? Being a little bit more pessimistic, um, maybe thinking like worst case scenario, right? Just having like a negative view about the world. So in this video, I'm kind of talking about all three, but I'm going to talk about some specific signs that might relate to one or the other. All right, so let me go through sign number one. Sign number one is really that you have a loud inner critic. Again, so this refers back to negative self-talk, so it talks about yourself. So in this instance, this is like thoughts that are related to judgments about you, uh, labels about you, things like that. When I think of having an inner critic, an inner critic is really this persistent voice that constantly judges you and finds you lacking, right? For whatever reason, whether you're worth, your intelligence, uh, your appearance, something about you, this inner critic finds lacking. This inner critic can also maybe look at mistakes in your past and use that to kind of beat you over the head. And it might really make you doubt yourself about your ability to handle challenges or make decisions about the future. So when I think of having a loud inner critic, it's that we all have negative thoughts at times and we all have negative thoughts about ourselves. That's just normal. Maybe there's some people out there that say they don't, I'm not gonna really push that, but generally it's very common to have negative thoughts. Say you have a loud inner critic, I'm really talking about that these thoughts are very persistent and when they show up, they really keep you stuck, right? So whether it's a judgment about a past mistake or whether it's a judgment about your appearance and maybe you have negative thoughts about your body and that stops you from making healthy decisions about whether you should you know, eat certain foods or not. Maybe you have negative thoughts about you know, your ability to be in a relationship and that stops you from putting yourself out there. So these, like this loud inner critic, when it shows up, it's very persistent. And when it does show up though, this is the other really big caveat, it's that you believe everything it says, right? So when the inner critic starts to give you all this feedback, again, either about something you've done in the past or just judging you, labeling you, whatever the case is, you kind of get paralyzed and you really believe what this inner critic is saying about you and it makes you doubt your ability to move forward. The second sign is really that you have a tendency to have a lot of catastrophic thinking or catastrophizing. What does that mean? That means these are really thoughts uh, kind of generally about the world, but this is really when you kind of lean on the you know, negative, pessimistic side. When you think about the future, you're thinking about what could go wrong. You're thinking in worst case scenario. Uh, you take maybe one situation and the way you filter it, you are filtering, filtering out to see all the possible ways it could go wrong. So for instance, um, let's say you have a cough, right? You have a cough, right? And that your mind takes that cue and says, oh my gosh, you have cancer, right? So you've automatically jumped, right? You jumped to, I have cancer. And this is the thing, again, similar with inner critic, it's that when you have that thought, that thought causes you so much distress. And okay, it might cause you distress because who wouldn't maybe get distressed by that thought, but then it causes you to do all these things to maybe avoid this distress or to make sure, right? So maybe you furiously start checking Google, right? And checking like WebMD, you start making all the, your appointments for the doctor, you, and even after, right? Even after you make these appointments, you're still not fully convinced. Your mind still says, what if? This also like, you know, catastrophizing can look like, for instance, let's say uh, you have your boss schedules a meeting for you, right? And your automatic thought is, oh my gosh, she's gonna fire me. But you don't just stop there, right? And again, let's be clear, this is just your boss scheduling a meeting. There's no, let's say, other reasons or clues, but your jump, your assumption is he's gonna fire me. And then from there, you take it and your mind takes it an extra step and says, oh my gosh, I'm gonna be homeless, I can't pay my bills, I won't find another job, I'll just be roaming out in the streets and I'll be forever just like not able to live my life again or be a productive member of society, right? So your, your mind took one cue that we didn't know, where right? it's like your boss just scheduled a meeting. For all you know, that meeting could be, hey, just general updates on what's going on. Hey, like maybe it is a constructive uh, feedback session, but it doesn't mean you're getting fired. 
And now you've already jumped to, I'm gonna be homeless forever. So again, that catastrophic thinking, it's very common for you, but not only is it common, sometimes it gets you so carried away that you don't catch it and then you get really stuck there, right? And you do all these things, right? Either start to plan or worry or just lose a lot of time and energy to them. Give me a thumbs up now to let me know that you are gonna to start to recognize when you're getting stuck with like, catastrophic thinking, right? Because again, the fact that you have these thoughts aren't the problem. Those thoughts are gonna show up, but it's the fact that you get so wrapped up in them. So again, hit a thumbs up to let me know that you're gonna start recognizing when they're really keeping you stuck and trying to do something different. Third sign is really the impact or the toll that these negative thoughts have on your day-to-day -day life. So when I'm thinking about that, I'm thinking about when these thoughts show up, whether it's an inner critic, right, criticizing yourself, or whether it's catastrophizing about a world, about the world or a situation, it's right, the impact that it really has. So for instance, maybe uh, if you have this critical thought about yourself that you're not a good partner, maybe you're extra sensitive to feedback from your partner and you get really reactive, right, but it's not really helpful for your relationship. Or maybe you decide you're single and you decide not to put yourself out there again because you think you're not worthy of being in a relationship. When I think of other impacts, I think about how it's showing up in terms of your willingness or your ability to put yourself out there to achieve the things that are really important to you, knowing that they might be difficult and you might struggle and even at times fail, right? But if these negative thoughts really kind of overtake you and you feel like you kind of can't overcome them, then you don't even put yourself out there. I'm also thinking about just like the overall toll it takes on you, right? So of course, if you have negative thoughts, thoughts, right? Of course, it's going to have a toll. But when I'm thinking about like the emotional toll that it takes on you, like do these thoughts really get you like stuck in this hole and you can't move out of it, right? Or it keeps you kind of playing your life really small or missing out on the things that are important to you. It's also important to know that sometimes negative thoughts, especially if this isn't that a pattern that's common for you, could also be indicating like a symptom of another mental health disorder, right? Because negative thoughts are a common component of other disorders. When I think of anxiety, when I think of trauma, when I think of depression, right? Negative thoughts is a component. So it also could be a signal that something else is going wrong. But again, this sign is really understanding the toll that these thoughts are having on your day-to-day -day life. Tired of letting negative thoughts call the shots? Go watch this video where I'll review some tips to help you learn how to overcome them. And as always, I encourage you to continue nurturing your mind, body, and soul, whatever that looks like for you. Thanks guys.